The Sailfish basketball teams welcomed in Barry University from nearby Miami Shores for a women's and men's hoops doubleheader this past Wednesday, as the fans on hand were treated to a pair of NCAA South Regional contests. We pick up the action midway through the first half in the women's game as PBA junior guard Lindsey Poole helps lift her team with buckets on back-to-back -back sailfish possessions, including this basket, which was accompanied by a BU foul. The first half didn't prove very friendly from a shooting perspective for either team. However, there were bright spots as evidenced by this play from all five of the Buccaneer players, ending with an Alexandria Zamora layup underneath. Neither team topping 35% shooting in the first half, the Bucks held a 28-19 lead at the break. With the Fish hoping to narrow the score, they would find themselves with a high number of outside shooting opportunities in the second half, 17 of them in fact. They would finish with seven made trays in the second period, including two apiece from seniors Jordan Kong and Haley Fields, while Poole added in two of her own. Though the Fish would find success from the outside, it would be Barry who would seemingly answer each dagger with one of their own, like that Jackie Perez three-point bomb as the Bucks would settle in and take the game by a final of 65-50 over the Fish. Zamora anchored the inside play of Barry on the night as they outscored the Fish 30-16 inside the paint as she led all Bucks players with 12 points on four of five field goals. Fields poured in 10 second-half points for PBA and finished with a team-high 13 points on the night. She did her damage on five of eight shooting from the field. After a short break in between games, the men's team would tip off as the Terry Prim-led Sailfish would hope to avoid a sweep at the hands of the Bucks. It was evident right from the start that the Fish were hungry for a win as the first two scores came on dunks like this throwdown from junior Ian Sitt. The Rubin Arena would continue to rock as Matt Gurrell finds the bottom of the net. Barry's Justin McCoy finally ends the Bucks' drought with a triple and the friendly bounce draws the Bucks' side to their first points of the game after nearly a nine-minute drought. All just offense as Carter McMasters can be seen here swatting away the BU shot. The Bucks will begin to chip away thanks to this Keon Palmer's putback slam while a late run by PBA, including this bucket from Sitz, would take them a 33-22 lead into the locker room. Provided the early spark in the second half with another long-range bomb, while the Bucks faced with a big deficit wouldn't quit. Worked for every point like this athletic finger roll from guard Chad Renfro. Just when it looked like the Bucks might get back into it with another Keon Palmer slam, the Fish turned to junior guard Dante Valentine, who knocked down a pair of three-pointers down the stretch that kept the Bucks from inching any closer. McMasters and Valentine would ice the game late as their free throws helped PBA to their first home victory of the 2011-12 season. The Fish earned the win with a 42-36 edge in rebounds and a 14-11 lead in turnovers. Palmer had a big night off the bench for the Bucks with a team high honors of 14 points, seven rebounds, and five blocks. For the Fish, it was Valentine who led the way as he poured in 18 points and eight boards, while Ian Sitz produced a big night with 17 points and eight rebounds. Carter McMasters finished with a double-double of 10 points and 10 boards while adding in four blocks. The Sailfish basketball teams will have next week off from game action as they will take part in final exams and be ready for a busy weekend. The women will host a three-day tournament with the blue and white in action on Friday and Saturday, while the men will host St. Thomas University at 7 p.m. on Saturday, December 17th, following the women's tournament play. Just remember, for anything and everything Sailfish, be sure to follow us on Twitter and Facebook, as well as pbasailfish.com.